hello 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 my loves my name is Brittany welcome to my channel so I decided to take a sabbatical about actually it's been over a year it's literally been like 10 days since my one year mark I was an esthetician for six years and I would like to say that I did really well uh, within my career and that's what also gave me the confidence to take the sabbatical so for those who don't know, I work in social media, I do content creation, and I've been doing it full time for the past year since quitting my nine to five. And I wanna give you guys an insight on taking a sabbatical and also sharing some of the things that I've learned. And hopefully this can kind of give you, I am so sorry, I live in New York City and this is how it is literally all the time. So we'll just wait. So I just wanted to share my experience on pretty much what it is that I have gone through taking my sabbatical, but hopefully this will help you if that's something that you was thinking about doing and maybe it'll kind of bring some clarity for you. So the first thing I learned from taking a sabbatical is that it is completely unpredictable when it comes to making an income. This is the elephant in the room and I'm sure everybody thinks of this when they are deciding to take a break from work. It's true, you really do have to take that risk when it comes to trying to figure out where your income is coming from. And when it comes to working for yourself, it's most likely that you are going to have a slight unpredictable income. Now, for me, I have been working in social media for a year and a half before I decided to take my sabbatical. So I had already kind of understood where my income was going to be coming from. As long as I'm consistent, I should be fine. Uh, but you know, things do happen. The industry shifts very rapidly in social media. So yeah, it is pretty unpredictable. So what I decided to do was use at least one year of my savings to just put towards my sabbatical just in case things didn't work out. And if there's any emergencies that may come up, then I will be covered. Uh, my savings also gave me the confidence to make this decision as well, because if I'm not making money, at least I have something stored away for a rainy day to make sure that my bills are paid. The second thing is discipline, okay? When you are working for your boss, usually you have a set schedule, you know exactly when you need to wake up, you know exactly when you need to go to work and how long you will be there. It is not like that when you are either working for yourself or you have just a schedule that is completely created by you just based off of what it is that you feel that you should be doing. So it is important to be disciplined. I'm gonna be honest, I have been doing it for a year now and it still feels like I am just going with the motion of things. I do have a little bit of a schedule. I feel like after a while, you tend to notice that you're doing the same things every single day. So it is really important to create a schedule that kind of works with the person that you are when you are not working a nine to five. It is completely different. Sabbatical you is completely different from nine to five you. Since you don't have anyone to tell you when to wake up, you have to be able to tell yourself when to get up, when to eat breakfast, when to work, when to play, and how long you can do each. And that is going to make or break the success of your sabbatical. The third is that my sabbatical gave me the mindset to be able to create a world that is 100% my own. It allowed me to fuel my creative juices. It gives you the flexibility to like really get creative and figure out what it is that you want to do to cover your finances. So if you wanted to do copywriting or just blog writing, or if you wanted to start selling products, if you wanted to do social media or whatever it is that you want to do, having a sabbatical gives you the time and the space to do that. If you have everything structured, I will say that because you don't have a limited amount of time, but if you have like a good amount of savings, you have everything structured for you to give yourself the space to figure out what it is that you really want to do. Your sabbatical can allow you to do that. And that is the best feeling ever because it just kind of removes that resistance, right? So you're really just going whatever your heart is telling you and that's amazing. For me, it just allowed me to explore myself a little bit more through social media and post a whole lot and that helped me to actually grow my community even more because now that I wasn't doing a nine to five, I was able to create more videos, I was able to be more intentional with my content creation and that allowed me to grow my community a lot larger. 
fourth, I think it's fourth. Oh my, I don't even know wh which one I'm on, but I'm just gonna say fourth. Now that I'm not working a nine to five, I had the time to meet up with my friends and build my connections with my friends a lot deeper. You know that when we all have nine to fives and we all have these very intense schedules, it's really hard to meet up with your friends. Maybe you're meeting up with them for like an hour or two outside of work or only in the evenings or only on the weekends. When you do not have a nine to five, you kind of have a little bit more of a flexible schedule. So you are able to see your friends more and build a connection with your friends, but also you get to see your family more. I know that since my sabbatical, I've been able to speak to my mom a oh, whole whole lot more literally a few times a week i am always on the phone with her at the most random times of the day and i feel like that has brought our relationship a lot closer fifth is traveling and having more experiences your life will be full of experiences when you take your sabbatical and that is if you decided to work just for yourself or if you decided to not work at all you have your savings set in stone for you and you just want to spend that money to just have more experiences you will definitely be able to do that during your sabbatical i have been able to travel throughout the summer this year it has been the best experience ever i've been to three countries and multiple cities and i just came back from the hamptons here in new york and it's just been a really great experience so one of the reasons why i wanted to take my sabbatical was of course to work for myself and just give myself that chance to see if i can really do this but also i wanted to experience life more i strongly do believe that that is what life is about life is about experiences and you should be doing as much as you can to enjoy life i don't know if that's just me but i've always strongly felt that part of the human experience is to get out there and do things and be active and connect with people and connect with the world and different cultures and just be in nature that was something that i was extremely excited about i was able to travel to france and portugal and spain and i mean just experience some of the most beautiful cultures and have some of the most wonderful and unique experiences that I would be able to take with me for the rest of my life. It also allows me to open myself up and expand, just like shift my perspective on my own ideals and what it is to just like live and experience life. Even if I decide to go back to work, I will have this experience with me for the rest of my life. Six is that it gives you the confidence to really trust yourself. So now that I have been you know, on my own for the past year, I can really tell if I am more disciplined or if I am not disciplined. I was able to build my trust within myself to make certain decisions that were for my best interest. Being on your own just helps to build that muscle of having that self-belief. Seven is that life is just funner now. And I know that it sounds, you know, not as mature to say that, but I strongly believe that life should be fun. And I feel like the more fun you have, the better that life is, but also the more money you make. And there is nothing that I believe that is more true than the more life you experience, the more fun you have, the more money you make, the more experiences you have, and the more connections that you build with people. I feel like it's all intertwined with one another. Yeah, taking your sabbatical just allows you to have more fun, which for some reason they feel like as an adult you shouldn't. Uh, adults are allowed to have fun as well. Yeah, it just gives me the permission to not take life so seriously and every now and then play a little. It's okay to have fun. It's okay to every now and then, you know, go to bed till 2 in the morning because you've been venting with your friends or you're dancing the night away. Just gives you the permission to have more fun and i feel like more adults should have fun i honestly think that the world would be a whole lot better place if more adults had fun so yeah those are some of the things that i have learned while taking my sabbatical for the past year it's definitely been one of the most memorable experiences of my life and like i said who knows how long this will last maybe i will crave working um and seeing my clients again and um yeah i really hope that this inspired you this gave you some insights and definitely be on the lookout for more videos make sure you like comment share subscribe and uh, yeah i will see you in the next one